Hey there, beautiful humans. Brother Timothy here. Today's video is a taster of some of the content I'm putting up on my YouTube community. If you like it, if you click the join button below or in the description, you can access much more content like this. Everything I've released, the back catalog will all be there for you to access if you join and everything I'm gonna be creating similar to this in the future as I move forward on this channel. I'm also doing a live chat on Monday, which you can join in on through that link as well. Hope to see you guys there. If not, just enjoy the content as it is. Take care. Hello everyone. So we're starting with some kettlebell swings with a blindfold on. Before this, I did some kettlebell swings just in the mirror so I could see my form and try to get it visually down to what I think it should be and see all the right cues. Um, but then I definitely think training with a blindfold is good training because then you can really feel the movement. You take away some sensors and some other sensors you can tune into more. So you can feel the sort of muscle fibers contracting a bit more and which ones are firing and the timing of everything and the weight of the kettlebell a bit clearer. So I like training with a mirror and then training blindfolded to hit two ends of the spectrum. Now this is one under kettlebell swings, but you see I'm swinging the other elbow in thumb to touch my chest. And it's the way the body wants to flow in a spiral motion as it comes up. Everyone kind of like linearly does things forwards and backwards, but you notice as, as I did all the wet method training and with the rope, things want to spiral. As you lift, if you put rotation into it, horizontal rotation, it helps make things lighter so they can lift through space a lot easier. So I'm rotating in and pulling up and looking, using the end of my elbow like a shooter on a gun and looking down it with one eye. Um, so I call these sniper, um, sniper swings. Next up, we're going to do some BOSU uh, swings. This is really nice because it teaches my feet and, and the inner, inner thighs to be active. So there's tension in my inner thighs gripping me to stay balanced. And you see I might, I might wobble there um, because I'm not gripping enough. So you want the outside of your feet pushing in, trying to squeeze the ball using the inside of your feet, inside of your thighs as you're swinging. So it really makes you overly engaged, the inner thighs. Now this one, sorry, the audio is going, is doing some lower lat activation. So I'm really trying to drive the elbow into the back pocket, in close to the glutes as I'm lifting up. Head goes over the foot. You can see the head shifting side to side over foot. If I was stood up, it would be like the rope motion. Um, so it's it's getting maximizing the lower use of that lat. And this one's more oblique. So it's sque trying to squeeze the ball on one side and I swap to the other side and I'm, I'm squeezing the ball over on the other side, um, trying to pop the ball, but driving with the hand upwards, using the stomach as a, like the funnel for the muscle. Now this one is uh, RMT complex. It's kind of like rotational movement. So there's pivots. You can see I'm, I'm spinning in this rotational plane. The weight shifts to the right, the weight shifts back to the left. And this is again from the rope patterns, from the underhand rope and the matador, you go side to side. It's using rotational movement. And I'll explain this more at the end. I got a clip which I shot for Josh, and I'll share it with you guys and me explaining this so you hopefully get a better understanding. But you can see the weight shifts to the left, to the right, back to the left. And it's the rotation, as I said before, in the horizontal plane that helps make the weight lighter. We're not just going using all the muscles to direct it straight up. We're going with the rotation and the up, the spiral motion makes the weight lighter in, in terms of the body's more efficient at using it. It's still the same weight. Now we're doing some wet method step ups. So... Again, there's it's kind of this rotation. It's that half of the figure of eight from the from the rope coiling weights over to one side and we lift up and drive through. And just the, the, the goblet in the hand is just to give some extra weight. Now we'll see this from a, a different angle, but the same thing. The steps under my feet are just to stop where my ankle biomechanics are currently at would affect how my leg muscles work. So we take that out of the equation. We're removing the ankle mechanics out of the equation with the WEC steps so that the muscles can fire in the correct alignment. And then I, I'm doing the inner thighs coming in and then driving from internal rotation to out external rotation. If you can see that, so I'm from internal to external. And we'll go into that more for in, in future stuff to make it more clearer. Now, just using the rope on the handle, this is a 32 kilogram kettlebell and I'm just doing deadlifts um, with the rope as grip. So it's training the grip, which is nice as well. And it's just a bit of a way to train deadlifts, use the kettlebells for a weight. Um, now I'm going to get onto my calves. It's nice to have the low hanging weight, keeps your center of gravity low so you can balance easier, even though I'm still wobbling about. And just really driving my calves, trying to get them to cramp, trying to wake them up at the, the maximum range. 
because you never really get good good weight in the calves and you can do calf raises with weight there's so many different ways to do calf raises but this one just felt nice and i got a good cramp activation hey guys human timothy here and today i'm going to show you how to do i don't really know the name of it i got this from at savage protocols on instagram he's one of the leading wet method instructors and it's so fun to play with you just need a kettlebell that's a decent weight you can do one arm swings with and what you're going to do is you're going to start with the weight over to one side, like you're an ice skater about to launch off, but make sure you're not hitting your knees with the bell. And you're gonna pull it up to wrap position, but you're gonna shift the weight across from the left side to the right side, if this is the way you're swinging. And you wanna be able to lift this leg to show that you're balanced and that your bones are stacked, so you're not in the middle, in space, you're ready to go. And then from here, you're gonna press out with rotation on this plane and press. And again, you're going to swap the weight to the other leg and show that you can lift this leg to show that you're balanced and stacked. So left to right to left. And you can leave the foot down for balance, but it shouldn't be there taking weight. Have fun.